So these are Olivia's babies. Mm, that's mama making noises. They are just having the time of their life. They are out of the playpen. They have been fully potty trained. And they're eating really good. They're eating both wetted down dry food and some dry food. It does slow them down a little bit when they're eating, but they are doing amazing. Now they're just rambunctious little babies that like to play hard and get to know their limits of playing. So there's lots of running around and lots of squeaks. And a little bit of growling here and there and a couple of hisses because they're too rough with each other. But Mama's going to teach them how to play nicely. Aren't they just so cute? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so funny when they run because their tails are straight up. <laughs> and yes, they are at that stage in life where when they do run, they also do the side run sideways one where they're like oh, what do you call that when they're like about to like pop up yes do you see her this is Samara the um the quarter shell the dark colored one and the white mittens one I have to look his name and this is the one that just did that squeak the little bit red one aren't they under ones and that's Stefan here is the dark one and Sophia's over here playing so I can heal you just get it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> They're having so much fun. Is that mama? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, mamas. <laughs> she's so gentle, though. Oh, God, yes. Even with her being playful like that, she's gentle. She's very, very watchful. And she, like, even when she was pregnant, she would sit either on my side of the couch with me or on Justin's side of the couch with him. She'd sit on my table. But she had to be right there next to us. And then she always does this thing when she likes to turn her head upside down and look at you, too. It's so cute. Olivia, hi baby, I love yours. Yeah. Why? And this Maude, she's a female. And that one over there is Stefan, he's a boy. All the ribs are boys. Two are um, just red, one has white mittens. The, um, the, out of the two reds, one's a little bit lighter than the other one. But um, besides that, they're very, very, very close. And they, they all chirp. They all make little cute noises like that. I this little ball. I know. It's that was nice. brand new when I put it in there. That is hilarious. They love this thing. It used to light up if you hit it. And they're not lighting up anymore. Yeah. They nodded to that. <laughs> Gotta get them another one. And here is Sophia. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. They love it. Little pitter pats. Her kitten feet is so cute. I'm going to take this out of here. I don't want to make choke on it because it's starting to come apart. Is it starting to? Yeah. I got a kitty. 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 Boys in here, so you can have things to play with. Give them a couple of mice. We'll see how they do with the mice. I don't try to do catnip when you're too, so little because it really gets some hyper. But um, we've got some puppy toys that you can't tell the difference between the puppy and the kitten toy. It just all kitten toys are always have catnip. Puppy toys typically don't. But, um, yeah. like, oh, is it drink time? Hi. <laughs> That's so cute.
Oh, look at him go. He's like that satchel. So this one, I believe, is the lighter colored one. That's the two reds. Two little sweet. Yes. I thought that was a growl, but it wasn't at all. <laughs> What's funny is in about a half an hour, they're all going to be passed out. Mm -hmm. They're wearing through their underwear. They haven't even determined the beds there. Once they find that bed, they're going to be like, oh my they're god, it's so We're soft. Be able to sleep up here on the bed. Yep. Well, mama. And we do have a leak proof mat on this bed. Yes, we've got a waterproof um, under sheet. So. Just in case anything should happen. And yes, Mama talks a lot all the time. She's very, very talky. And plus, Mama's normally when they get into this setting, they normally like to meow to their babies a lot. Aren't they so cute? They are really loving these cat scratchers. Now these cat scratchers um, are infused with catnip, so it actually attracts the cats to go ahead and use them. And this is the first time that they've actually been around with cat scratchers, so this is really awesome. I do trim the little nails. My husband scratches them a little bit, and that way I can trim the little, just the tips of the nails, so that way if they do play hard with each other, they're not gonna nick each other's eyes, which is always, as a cat person, it's always my biggest fail, because they can't hurt each other with their little hook claws so we just trim off that little that little hook and that way when um, they're even on us they're not they're not scratching us either but this teaches them really good habits now sometimes they do use the uh, little mats here and there for you know using on your nails I personally don't have a problem with it because of the fact I mean it's not a couch it's not the couch it's not, it's not a furniture yeah. it's not our chairs it's not a carpet on cat scratchers, I always try to get the cat scratchers that have the rope going up the poles, not the carpet. Um, typically, it's going to be just a wee bit more expensive to do that, but... It doesn't I, cause any confusion. Yeah, I, I think it confuses the cat when they have carpet going up the post, then um, rope. So I try to always do the rope, and I always try to do cat scratchers that are made out of cardboard with or without the catnip infused. Um, if you get some that don't have the catnip infused, like the round ones, which we will be putting the round one in here, um, you do sprinkle, they give you a little packet of catnip, and I sprinkle a little bit in there and I pat it down, just so that way it, it gives them, you know, a little bit more of, um, an attraction to it. But really and truly, cats like to use their nails. They love to cat scratch. It's completely natural. And, um, I like these the best. I can man strip these down. If you're wondering how these stay down on the ground, they come in strips. They're strips. And every single time we come in here um, to clean, we pop them off because there are the command strips that um, have Velcro on either side. And that way I can pop them off and replace and them. Oh, I've had to replace two instead of four. Yeah, as needed. So, but then I only get one more account scratch, which is the big round one that I like. And it's got the little ball in it and I like to play with it. And I like to use little mats and make water dishes because they will be making a big mess. So, huh. I'm looking at mama, she's like, are you dad over there? <laughs> she's such a good mama. She's got gorgeous, gorgeous, healthy, little fat babies. I love them. They are having a time of their life. I think I know who liked this thing. Goodness. She is a dog's guy. Let me see if I toss it over there if she goes to it. Yes. <laughs> That was a little noise from small. I don't know if you picked that little itty bitty squeak up. She moved it with her. She took it way over with it. She did. And this is how we get water messes. Uh huh. Maine Coons love to dig in water. We typically, um, all of the other cats outside of this room have water fountains because they like the water moving. And she still likes her water moving, and so she digs in it. A lot of the cats dig in their water dishes, and it makes huge messes. So we have a few fountains throughout the house 
I may mean, absolutely love them, but um, I try not to do the water fountains with the baby kittens. It has cords, and kittens like to chew on cords. So this room has to be kitten proof at the moment. So yeah, and plus not all my Pueblo homes want to invest in a water fountain. They'd rather just do steel water. You will still get a water mess. Main kittens like to dig in water. Oh, look at that. Maybe you can't dig in it. Yep. See if I can get a little red one. He's, he's digging it like mama. He's actually in it now. <laughs> he's a little puppy. And he's so cute. And that's Samoa, and this is a little red one. I know. I need to memorize my red's names. <laughs> now we have a little bit. Yeah, it's got flicked in the water <laughs> twice. Yeah. And this is what I'm talking about. They do use the, the calls on this. I do not try to stop them because of the fact that they can, I mean, it's It's rubber texture. It's, it's rubber. Like We've it. never actually had any of the big ones actually destroy them. This is a large mm -hmm. rubber mat. We use these with um, all of our big cats. And then we have the smaller ones. We typically use those in our play pens and with the baby kittens just because it's a bit smaller. But we like them. When it gets little in it, you can actually pick it up and you can blow it on out. So it's, it's quite nice. But yeah, these are the babies. This is Olivia's little. And they are doing amazing. How oh, baby. You are so cute. Give me kisses. Oh, mm. Mm. oh you have use. Mm. Sorry. See, this is what happens. I'm giving kisses instead of watching the game. <laughs> When you have this many full babies and fluff balls, you just want to give them all looks all the time. So it's like, oops, I'm recording a video. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Look, and there's little Sophie, guys. It's such a big. Anyways, thought I was at least get my, my weekly video up. I apologize we haven't had more updated uh, photos. The last photo shoot I tried to do had a whole bunch of woolly photos in it because my kittens wasn't the same. We were still enjoying playing on being kittens. So. But I will try to um, get a couple of still photos even off the video if I can and uh, get those updated. But anyways, wanted to show you how the babies are doing. And uh, yeah, give you guys a weekly update. Oh, you're step on. Hello, buddies. So anyway, oh, and if you're wondering what that coloring is in the little box, it's actually the, oh, there we go. The pecan, I think it's crushed pecan. Come on, and no, it's walnut. Dog nap it. <sighs> At least I'm not saying it's almonds, right? But um, it's the attraction kitty little that we use for baby kittens. And I normally start using uh, that first and then I slowly implement a little bit of clay litter into it until they're completely off. And what I've done is just added a little bit of the little into the box and uh, mix it around a little bit. Someone has gone to the bathroom. So yeah, but uh, anyways, just wanted to show you guys a video. You're not leaving, honeys. And she's like, all right, my turn out. They're out, I need out. <laughs> but anyways, till next time, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like any of the videos, any comments I would definitely try to respond back to. But anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time.